a chat with Glendora, a show for living right. A chat with Glendora makes your day so bright. Words of inspiration, jokes to make you smile. Come relax and chat with Glendora for a while. Five, four, three, two. Hi, folks. One snowman said to another snowman, I haven't seen our friend Herb around lately, have you? And the other snowman says, no, not since he left for Florida. <laughs> oh, poor snowman. No, dear April Lynn Jacobs, can you put your face down in such a way so that the polar bear face will fill the whole screen? Mm-hmm. Keep it there. Count to ten, honey. Isn't that the cutest face you ever saw? Cute. Uh, what, cute. what comes after veganism? Go vegan, folks. You know, a heart attack, said Dr. Williams, the head cardiologist in the United States. A heart attack is voluntary. You choose it. You don't have to have a heart attack. You choose it when you eat meat. And you choose colon cancer when you eat meat. And you choose all kinds of other cancers. Stay away from meat. Number one, for the sake of the earth, because the way we have the agriculture, eat the cows eating the grass, and you have to cut down trees to have grass. And that's for the planet, and for you, your health, and for the animals. That's our veganism lesson today on a chat with Glendora. Mm -hmm. uh, dear April Lynn, what's next on our agenda? Um, well, the only two other things is we have the format of the show, and then we have the kitty cat. Uh, oh, part. okay. Any birthdays out there today, folks? All people who were born on August the 15th, uh... All people who are born on August the 15th, the kitty cats are going to sing your birthday. Can you hold it up to the camera? Yes, I April can. April Lynn Jacobs? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah. We have two dogs here and they didn't make a peep sound no, at about the kittens. Nisi is spread out on the ground. She doesn't care. Well, your dogs are used to cats, aren't they? Yeah, they are very used to them. Yeah. Uh, one is Kenzie Dog and the other one is Casey Dog. Kenzie Dog is the president of the Kenzie Dog Club. Would you like to join the Kenzie Dog Club? Then you send the Kenzie Dog an email. A dog mail. Mm-hmm. Dog mail to kenzie.gmail.com. <laughs> just kidding. And what was the other thing, April? You said there Oh, were... uh, it was just the format of your show. That was Would you here. tell the folks that? Well, we have the name of the show, the date, <laughs> the number of the show. Uh, 14,363 Yeah, 62 or, or 3. And today is August 16th, 2024. Um, Is this August 16th, honey? I think so, yeah. Yeah, thought, it's the 16th. I thought it was August 15th. No, it's 16th. You're stuck Oh, in I'm time. so sorry, folks. <laughs> it's okay. Um, reason for being. Um, then we have 10 jokes. Then we have Bible passage and a hymn and vocabulary and veganism, which we did, and meditations and happy happening topics, the advertiser... And finances. And we've done all those. Yes. Not, we, should we do the happy happenings? Yes. All right. I'm at your service. All righty. Let's I think you start that. with uh, Monday, August the 12th. All right. I think I don't have that. I have the 13th. Oh, okay. That's what I have. All right. Um, let's see. A chat with Glendora is renewed on public access TV stations. New Jersey, Northeast Newark to New York border. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another uh, year of a chat with Glendora. Do you think the public can stand that? 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. I think they can. April buys $21 worth of purple heart stamps. Um, April brings large amounts of food from the resource center. Um, and uh, April checks out the museum, sprays peppermint, does the files, personal records. Did you know that April, tell folks about peppermint and mice. Yeah, so um, I've been putting it in the drawers and just anywhere there's ever mouse droppings and it defers the mice from going there because they don't like the peppermint oil. So, And it's not harmful, they just don't like the smell of it. So they won't go there anymore. Mm. April and Glendora did a 45 minute soul to soul. We did. Um... I filled out the application for the DMV to renew her uh, ID. Um, North Carolina, State University of North Carolina. <laughs> you're not far from Duke University. I think you're 70 miles from the thing. Yeah, like maybe two hours, hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, not that far, I don't think. Um, Nolo history fascinates Glendora. You know what Nolo history is, folks? A group of lawyers felt sorry for people who went to court and couldn't afford a lawyer. And the court couldn't give them a lawyer. So Nolo started to write little papers telling a person how to take care of his own case. Mm -hmm. How to be his own lawyer. Wow. And help these people through the courts. Good for Nolo. Please go to nolo.com. N, as in Nancy, O, L, O, dot com. Isn't that a wonderful thing they did? Listen to their whole history. Thanks, April. Go You're ahead. Welcome. Um, oh, we can talk about the article you sent me of Dietrich Wise Jr., the NFL player. Yes, tell him. Well, um, what I got from it was that, I mean, he's vegan and he's an NFL player. And that's what he does to maintain his muscles and his strength and prepare for the season. He, he keep, can. keep going, honey. Uh, what is in the future? Let's see. Um, I, I read this a few days ago. I'm not more, really... more of it? Keeping up with it? Yeah, more of it, keeping up with it, promoting it to other people, all that stuff. So he wants to stay vegan. You joined a fitness club in Albany all summer long, didn't you? I did. And they were people of varying ages, weren't they? Mm-hmm. And uh, you had to say goodbye to them. I did. And you were crying, weren't you? <laughs> I wasn't crying, but I wanted to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your friends. Yeah, they did were Did you get friends. any of their addresses? Um, I got some of their social media, so I'll be in contact with them. Good, honey. Yeah. You don't want to lose track of them. No, I don't. Not at all. Okay. All right, so now we're on to August 14th, Wednesday, Happy Happenings. Okie doke. Frozen grapes taste better than candy. Mmm. Um. No! Oh. You tell them. You tell them, Kenzie. You tell them they shouldn't do that. Good, You're girl. The, Good girl, Kenzie. You're the president of the Kenzie Dog Club. You tell them. Um, let's see. Heme vegetable added to nutrients tastes better than heme meat. Um, let's see. Lieutenant Brown may come to North for a concert in Saratoga and to pick up April. And, and he, he got leave from the he U.S. Did. Army. He did. He's and come he's next coming. Week. And he's got a great big truck. Mm -hmm. So he's going to help uh, April Lynn move to North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be here next weekend. And she's going to take Kenzie Dog, and she's going to take uh, the kitten who found us and adopted us, mm -hmm. and she's going to take Mario Cat. Yep, Mario. Yep. It'll be fun. Fun little ride. Um, oh, I ha found a Mini Cooper in Florida. Oh, wait. Listen to this. April Lynn is selling her car, mm -hmm. and somebody in Florida... Found her a Mini Cooper. Yeah. Tell us about it. My uh, uncle and my cousin have a car auction business, and they found they had a 2005 Mini Cooper with only 50,000 miles on it, and it's very <laughs> nice, and they redid it all. So, yeah. How long have you wanted a Mini Cooper? 
Uh, well, I actually, when I was in Florida about three or four years ago, I drove one that I took off their lot just to, like, instead of renting a car, I took one of theirs. And they gave me a manual Mini Cooper, and I just loved it. I've always wanted one since then. What do you like about a Mini Cooper? I just think they're, they look cute. They're, um, I like the manual. I like driving manual cars. Um, and they're just, I mean, over, I think BMW makes a good car. The older versions, they make a good car of it. So, I don't know. I just like them. They're cute. How many cats and dogs will fit in a Mini Cooper? <laughs> I bet I could fit, like, 12. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, I gave you another day of companionship, which is today. Hooray! Vegetables. My next to the last day of seeing her. I'll see her Sunday, and that'll be it until mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. I know. Is I that know. Thanksgiving 2024? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> now, before you go on to the next one, I would like to have you see... The size of the vegetables that came out of... Oh, yeah. Let me grab them. The garden of April Lynn Jacobs and her mother, Tricia. I remember just a few months ago, a few weeks ago, they were putting the seeds in the ground. Mm -hmm. There was nothing there but dirt. And look what we have today. Now, yeah, we have... This is a cucumber. That's a cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the big zucchini. And you say there's even one bigger one? There is bigger ones, that like two times bigger. They're huge. Oh. The miracles of this universe. The miracles of creation. Mm -hmm. And then she brought me the most delicious orange tomatoes. Yeah, can... they were little, they were like orange grape tomatoes or orange cherry tomatoes. I'm not sure which ones, but. They're like candy. They're very good, yeah. They're much sweeter than little cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. They're really yummy. Uh, April, I had a dish that was delicious yesterday. Frozen blueberries oh. and vegan whipped cream. Ooh, yum. Mm. Frozen blueberries taste so good. And folks, frozen grapes are just like, they're better than candy. Frozen grapes are better than candy. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that definitely before. Okay, honey. All right, then we got... Um... August 15th? No, we're still on 14th. You and Amy cooked two impossible hamburgers and golden brown buns in the oven. Mmm, yummy. I want to tell you the secret to the impossible food. That company called Impossible Food. You've heard of hemoglobin, haven't you folks? You've mm -hmm. heard of it, right? Yes. That's the red uh, protein that's in your blood and it carries the oxygen. And it it burns up the food and gives you the energy that you're alive today. That's in that hemoglobin is a thing called heme, and this heme, which is a protein, is the same in plants as it is in animals. Oh yeah. No living life, oh Glendora, really, no life can exist without heme. <laughs> so these Pat Brown started his company, Impossible Foods, and he found out by substituting the heme of plants into his nutrients, mm -hmm. he came up with a meat that tastes exactly like meat that comes from animals because of the heme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that smart. amazing? That is amazing. I didn't know that. No. A lot of people don't, but... It's good uh, veg News. I want to thank Veg News for teaching us. Uh, Perfect. All right. Any more on that? Happy? Yeah, we have, um, um, this whole thing. Robert Jackson gave Glendora another year of public access TV on Altus USA, Cablevision, Lewis Conway in Rockland County, Susan Haywood in Westchester County, Betty Ann Smith and Renee Smith in Northeastern New Jersey. Um, yeah, Robert, yeah. So you and I, folks, and April, and Kenzie and Casey, so we can spread the message that when all is said and done, mm -hmm. the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Mm -hmm. It's true, mm -hmm. isn't it, folks? That is the last. I don't have a 15th. It point. is. That's the last happy yeah. happening you have? Mm-hmm. Uh, about your identity. 
Here is your real identity. You are not a sniveling adolescent crying for the world on your own terms. You are, on the highest level, perfect representative, beautiful, eternal, perfect, one with God, one with the universe. You are born alive and happy and healthy. Highest level, perfect representative, one pure thought, happy, cheerful, no, one with God. The you are the embodiment of God's perfection. Beautiful, eternal, perfect. Uh, you have unlimited intelligence, understanding, wisdom, and insight. You didn't know that about yourself, did you? You have unlimited vigor, vitality, pep, and energy. You have unlimited wealth and resources. You have everything you need and more. You have unlimited ability to create. You can create anything you want and show everybody else how they can do it. Pure thoughts, no negative, second level, trivial, ugly, happy, cheerful, humorous, full of love for everybody, calm, confident, enthusiastic. You eat right, you sleep right, you help animals, and you're refined. Uh, good diction, good uh, vocabulary, good English. Uh, let's see. I'm confident. Help animals be refined. That's who you are. That's your real identity. You're not what people see you as. You're not what you see people see you as. That's your real identity. Can we get uh, Casey Dog up here in front of the camera? Um, I can get her. Or is Casey Dog too heavy? I think she's too heavy, but I can try to get her to jump on my lap. Come here. Oh, really? Come here, Casey. Come here. She'll knock you Come over. Here. You want a treat? Come here. Come here. Can you hop up? Come here. Let me see the legs. Oh, good. There we go. Come here. Let me see. I think they can see her. She's on my... Her legs are on my lap. No, is she in view of the camera? I, I believe she is. She's here? Yeah, I think she's there. Casey here. Dog. Meet all our friends. All our friends. Hi. Meet Casey Dog. Casey Dog. She's on. No, can, <laughs> can we see Kenzie Dog? Here, Kenzie. Come here. Come here. Come here, Kenzie. Come here. Come here. Can you jump up? Hi, Kenzie Dog. Hi, Kenzie Dog. <laughs> Tear her heads up. Come here. Kenzie, you are such a good watchdog. Kenzie, she yes, is. you are. You want to kiss me, don't you? <laughs> Hi. Casey's like, well, now I want to go up there. Thank you, Kenzie Dog. <laughs> Don't nibble on her shirt. Silly. <laughs> uh, we'll have some more dog biscuits, vegan dog biscuits, mm -hmm. in just a minute. Well, honey, I think that's everything, isn't it? And I think so, yeah. All right. Let's see. We got... Let's... You know what the temperature is outside, folks? <laughs> it's 87 degrees. And inside the polar bear, what is it, 110? Yeah, 200 maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. We're nice and warm. And this is uh, August 16th, and it is Friday. And I want to thank you for the good times that we have together. And here is a benediction. Uh, may the peace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus Christ be with all of you and all of those you love. Amen. Can you say goodbye? I can. Well, I guess this is the last program until... Uh, maybe Sunday if we do one. So, until then, thank you. <laughs> Hi there, everybody. Welcome to a continuation of program number 14,362. And this is August the 
18th, Sunday, 2024. A bird, a dog, and a cat all died on the same day, and they all went to heaven on the same day. And God said to the bird, where do you want to sit? And the bird says, on your left. And then God said to the dog, where do you want to sit? And the dog says, on your right. And then God said to the, bird, uh, the cat, where do you want to sit? And the cat says, I think you are sitting in my chair. A counterfeiter said to a clerk, can you change this $18 bill? And the clerk says, sure. What do you want, two nines or three sixes? Amy, would you read NOLO to the people? Sure. That was sure. She said sure. Do you want me to read the history? or? Yeah, the, the history, would you? Okay. Are you off camera? You'd rather be off camera than on camera? <laughs> As long as I can hear my voice, it won't matter. <laughs> um, okay, so it says our history. Plus, I don't think the laptop will fit over there. <laughs> anyway, um, our history. Nola was born of the frustration of two legal aid lawyers who were working to help low-income families in the San Francisco Bay, Bay Area in the late 1960s. Charles Ed... Sherman and Ralph Jake Warner were tired of having to turn away working people who didn't qualify for free legal aid but couldn't afford lawyers. There was no place to send these people because they were almost there were also almost no resources of free or low cost legal information. No do it yourself books or software, no court based self help programs. No internet. And precisely because the many millions of Americans who earned less than $5 per hour had to purchase even the most routine legal information and help at $80 per hour. Most went without. I don't choose to. <laughs> In 1971... To help fill the need, Sherman wrote How to Do Your Own Divorce in California. And Warner immediately followed with the California Tenants Handbook with Sherman and Myron Moskowitz. They took the books to established publishers who promptly rejected them. Warner and Sherman decided they had no alternative but to publish the books themselves. And so, Nolo Press was created. Nolo, you want to know how to spell that, folks? N-O-L-O. -O. You know the legal term? Nolo contendere, meaning no contesting, I don't contest that. Nolo, N-O-L-O -O dot com. Nolo in Latin means I don't choose to. Warner and Sherman thought it was appropriate given that they had never intended to become publishers. Joined by Tony Ihara, they committed to publishing a comprehensive series of do-it-yourself legal guides. Nolo Books soon covered a wide variety of legal niches, including debtor's rights, how to Beat the Bill Collector by Warner and Peter Jen Honensberg. Personal Relationships, Business Formation, and Estate Planning. So the you don't need a lawyer. You can do this yourself. You can follow the rules, the law, and they make it easy. You don't need to pay a whole lot of money to a lawyer and then get ripped off in the end. What's Amy doing The public now? was hungry for this information and Nolo became widely recognized as a pioneer in what can best be described as a popular law revolution. Yes, indeed. We need it. 
and that's the end of the first paragraph. Second paragraph says, the success of Nolo's na national titles allowed the company to grow robustly. For instance, how to make your own will. You don't need a lawyer for that. Nolo attracted a diverse bunch of employees who, whether they edited books, designed them, or shipped them from the warehouse, shared a commitment to Nolo's mission and were proud to be a part of it. By the early 1980s, Nolo had gone beyond its consumer law roots to publish books in new and more sophisticated legal areas such as patents, landlord law, and probate avoidance. When personal computers came along in the 1980s, Nolo quickly published do-it-yourself legal software, including Quicken Willmaker, which has sold, sold millions of copies and remains a bestseller. Again, the idea was simple. Give people clear, reliable legal information and let them get on with the job. And that's the end of that paragraph. Well, now this, and there are many more paragraphs as good as these folks in this article, nolo.com, N-O-L-O dot com. There is no need to be uh, overwhelmed by a lawyer. Go to nolo.com. If you're having a landlord-tenant uh, problem, then go to nolo.com. A divorce. Oh, I hope not. That's sad. Go to nolo.com. Uh, Amy, you have the uh, Soul to Soul folder. Yeah. May I have it over here, dear? Please. I have a notification for Glenn. Oh, thank you. Hey, Google, may I have the notification? Sorry, I can't read messages on this device yet. What is a notification? Oh, no. What is a notification? Diaper. Hi, Glenn. Diapers. Okie dokie. Thank you. All righty. Uh, here's the next page, Jamie. What does it say from the Soul to Soul folder? Read NOLO on TV. We did that. This one says Simon Ward, August 17th, Saturday, 11.15 All right. Can you find that uh, email that came in yesterday? Yeah, just give me a second here while I look it up. Uh, here we go. Okay, it says... Listen, listen to this now. This is an email. That came in from a viewer. It says, Hello, dear Glendora, my apologies as I've been meaning to email you for quite some time now. I'm very pleased you have to have found you on YouTube and wanted to send a note saying hello. I first discovered you around 1988 when I was 12 years old. No local LMC TV in Mamaroneck, New York. I was fascinated with the emerging technology back then, and it was amazing to me that regular people could make their own TV shows and broadcast on cable. I was also intrigued by a lady wearing fun hats and waving American flags while chatting about the annoyance of setting up the VCR. How could a neighbor from White Plains, or maybe Scarsdale, produce a TV show every week? More importantly, I tuned in to watch you discussing, discussing issues surrounding the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and the rights of the people to use our airwaves and be heard. Absolutely. While seemingly everyone else at the time used their speech to spout nonsense and foul language, here was Glendora using her speech to stay focused on positivity and fight for all of us to be heard. Simon Ward astute. Even today it seems we need to be reminded that it's the quality and content of the speech that is so important. I always remember that about you, that you were different and wanted to chat about interesting and important topics. You weren't in it for the money or fame. It was refreshing. I went to college in Boston in the 90s and was quite homesick at the start. 
So it was surprising and awesome when I turned on the TV and Glendora appeared. There was my neighbor on TV again. BNN, Boston Neighborhood Network. Standing outside of the Cablevision offices holding a stack of VHS tapes <laughs> ready for broad broadcast submis submission. <laughs> Your show was my little piece of home while living in Boston, even if my Korean roommate didn't understand my excitement. Simon Ward is writing this. Here we are all these years later. I'm still inspired by you and I think... A chat with Glendora is an amazing accomplishment and body of work. I'm always reminded of your positivity, kindness, and inquisitiveness. I subscribe to your YouTube channel and look forward to continuing to watch your program. Warmest regards, Simon Ward. Fan since 1988. Hmm. Amy, thank you so much. That is one of the best letters that we've ever received, isn't it, folks? Thank you so much, Amy. Do you get any idea where he's writing that that email is coming from? No, I guess not. Mm. There, there wouldn't be any indication. Mm. All righty. Next thing on Soul to Soul, a chat with Glendora on August this is 18. A, a, um, a page of jokes. Favorite joke? Before we get into that, Amy, I have to know how much time we have left on this program. Uh, hold on, give me one second. Okay. <laughs> how about a hundred seconds? Well, we have twelve minutes, so I think we're good. <laughs> twelve minutes. Yeah. Let's see. We came in with twenty. That would be enough. We have to say goodbye. Now, Vicki, you can say to be continued on this. Take care, everybody.